Hi everyone and welcome to our first video in English for our non-Italian friends. Hi! We are very happy to have non-Italian subscribers on this channel that we decided to make videos in English. Please forgive our accent and some mistakes, we will do our best. In this video we are going to talk about uh, Italian Christmas tradition. We will try to give you an overview of the main 12 traditions that can be found across the country. Please bear in mind they can vary a lot depending on the region. A little disclaimer here, we are originally from Padua and from northeast Italy and uh, uh, our experience can be different uh, from other um, regions. So without further ado, let's start with a list and let's start with number one. Christmas starts on the 8th of December. Indeed, traditionally Christmas starts on the 8th of December. It is the day of the Immaculate Conception, so it is a religious holiday. But nowadays it is a bank holiday and schools and offices are closed. It is the day when the Christmas tree is prepared. And this leads us to number two. Christmas ends on 6th of January. So the tree stays up until the 6th of January. So Italians are lucky enough to celebrate Christmas for a little longer than other countries. So Christmas season in Italy ends on the 12th day of Christmas. The day is known as an epiphany. So on this day many will dismount the tree, uh, even if according to tradition it should stay on until Candlemas on the 2nd of February. And now number three. We call it Natale. <laughs> Natale basically means the day of the birth and the usual greeting like Merry Christmas in Italian is translated as Buon Natale. Ah, and uh, Happy New Year is uh, Buon Anno Nuovo. So if you are on holiday in Italy and you got uh, some Italian friends, you can say uh, Buon Natale e Buon Anno Nuovo or Felice Anno Nuovo. <laughs> so number four, we can discuss Christmas Eve on the 24th of December. Christmas Eve, call it La Vigilia, is the official kickoff of Christmas celebration. It still is a working day for many, but some lucky ones will have an early finish so they can prepare the first big meal for Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, indeed. <laughs> so Christmas Eve dinner. Mm. That, okay, this means that something Good. is delicious. Gestures in Italy. We, we should make a video on gestures in Italy. Christmas Eve is the typical family event. It's usually based on seafood and fish dishes where our moms usually they spend hours and hours <laughs> just preparing meals. Most of all Christmas Eve is an occasion to exchange gifts. And then go to the uh, local midnight uh, mass. But of course this tradition can vary from family to family. For example, I only remember I think three times I had a um, Christmas Eve dinner. Only three I think. I can still remember them. <laughs> Number five, Christmas Day on the 25th of December. Christmas Day is the biggest celebration of all and it is usually marked by very big, huge family lunches. <laughs> and the menu is usually down to personal preference. There is no mandatory Christmas meal and obviously it depends about the regions, the cities and the culture from south to north Italy is completely different. It could be pasta, risotto, meat, sides. Um, I remember uh, uh, the starter, appetizer first. Appetizers, yeah, appetizers always. <laughs> first. Each family has their own favorite food. Desserts are definitely the most traditional and interesting part of Christmas lunch. Like uh, panettone, pandoro, torrone, Mandorlato, and we got a lot. <laughs> yeah, and these are <laughs> basically plenty. staples. We yeah. cannot survive without them at Christmas. 
for example, in my family, we are huge fans of risotto. So each year we would choose a different risotto type. But yeah, definitely risotto for me. And then pandoro. Pandoro is this buttery rich, soft, sweet cake. And I, I love it. It's my favorite one. And then number six. Uh, the day after Christmas is called Santo Stefano. It is again a national holiday. We call it uh, the day Santo Stefano, Saint Stephen. And basically this is just a day to recover from Christmas life. Mm -hmm. Just <laughs> relax. <laughs> it could be the equivalent of the English Boxing Day. Number seven on New Year's Eve yeah. on the 31st of the December. Very similar to other countries, we will have dinner, toasts, fireworks, yeah, basically it's the same. <laughs> but yeah, there is one tradition which is very specific and it has to do with food. On this night, usually you eat uh, uh, cotechino con le lenticchie, which is pork leg with lentils. Never liked it, never had it. I <laughs> just tried it once. I mean, not my favorite. Do you like it? Uh, I had a lot of sauces from mayonnaise, <laughs> ketchup. Not too I had everything. <laughs> Probably I'm English inside, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, you're basically covering the taste of pork leg yeah. and lentils with sauces. I'm a fake Italian. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, basically. Uh, the, the rumor is that if you have this dish, especially lentils, uh, they will bring you luck. I don't know why, but that's the rumor. And usually uh, people like the Prosecco, so it's a dry uh, wine, white wine. It's typically on the 31st. Yeah, you can have a toast with Prosecco, but for those who don't like it, like me, <laughs> I don't know, it's always me. <laughs> Italian oh, stuff. we are quite weird as uh, Italian. Yeah, sorry, but yeah, if you don't like Prosecco, you can have a sweet white wine and it's called Moscato. I do yeah. prefer Moscato and yeah, it tastes better. I don't know. <laughs> Where we come from, uh, we got one of the most uh, uh, really important white wine. It's sparkle, sweet, and it's light. It's the pure d'arancio. Yeah, it's, it's our everyone. It tastes one. delicious. Yeah. Marvelous. But it's sweet, but it doesn't have added sugar. It's just naturally sweet. It's natural, yeah. And then number eight, as we said before, on the 6th of January, Christmas season will end. We usually say that Epifania delle feste porta via, mm -hmm. which means Epiphany will take away all the celebrations, yeah. basically. Number nine, gift from Santa and uh, the Good Witch. Yeah, this is interesting. It is not only Santa who brings uh, uh, Christmas uh, gifts. So on January the 6th, we have La Befana, which is a good witch. She is the good witch on the broom. On this day, she fills stockings uh, with candies for good kids and we call for naughty ones. Mm, yeah. <laughs> She's a typical Italian folklore figure. Yeah, it can be found in other European countries. But since Italy is so varied, we also have other figures bringing gifts to kids. For example, I've heard about St. Lucy on the 13th of December or St. Nicholas. I mean, I know it's similar to Santa Claus, but this is a um, someone different, I have no clue, but it, he comes on the 6th of December. But let's say the Santa Claus, Babbo Natale, is the most famous. Yeah, it's the famous one, for sure. Number 10, sweet treats. Oh, my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> so, sweet treats are a must for Christmas and they can vary from town to town, from city to city, region to region. Yeah, so, but overall, the most famous ones are Pandoro, Panettone and Torrone. Panettone is a typical uh, Christmas sweet bread. It has uh, sultanas and candied fruits inside. Hmm, it's delicious. It's my favorite one. And yeah. usually I had, it's a trick, I had the tiramisu cream. 
It's perfect. Yeah, <laughs> Daniel will not be able to leave yeah. the table. It's, it's strange, <laughs> I know, but I like it. <laughs> yeah, this, this sweet cake is originally from Milan. Now it's widespread across the country and I think it dates back to the 12th century. So it's a very ancient tradition. Then we got Pandoro, is another originally uh, sweet bread from Verona. Mm, that's my favorite one. It smells like vanilla and it's soft and buttery. It smells in your mouth. I mean, what else? <laughs> yeah. yeah, if you have it a little bit warm, you will enjoy its flavor best. And another trick is you can use it with the champagne or your favorite uh, red wine or white wine. Mm, yeah, and you typically sprinkle icing sugar on top and it looks very nice because it's, it has the shape of a star. <laughs> and we got Torrone or Nougat. It's typically from North Italy, but we have a, a slight different version. Yeah, it's called Mandorlato. So I think here in the UK you can find Torrone or Nougat. But where we come from, we have a very hard version. I mean, it's really hard. You need to be careful when you eat it. It looks and, like marble. <laughs> yeah, and instead, and instead of uh, nuts, I mean uh, hazelnuts, you will find almonds inside. So the taste is a bit, uh, uh, I would say, softer. Not that sharp like hazelnuts. With honey? Is that honey? Inside? Yeah, yeah, there's honey inside. Number 11. Nativity scene. The tradition of the nativity scene is very old and it dates back to the 1200s when St. Francis of Assisi uh, set up the first nativity scene. We, we have uh, both, so the tree and the nativity scene as well. So we, we love both. Number 12, Christmas tree. The tradition of the Christmas tree has been widely adopted in Italy, but the main difference, I would say, um, is that Italians do prefer artificial trees. The main reasons are, uh, first, because uh, they are cheaper, mm -hmm. and the second one, we don't have uh, uh, pine nurseries, so yeah. that's why people prefer the artificial one. Okay, and I also think, I mean, trees in our mountains, for example, the Alps are too precious to be cut only for decoration purposes. And then you don't need to care about the disposal too. So, uh, we hope you enjoyed this video. Yeah, and you learned something new. Please leave a comment down below and let us know what you think. If you, if you want, leave a thumb up. And let us know which tradition is most surprising to you. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching, guys. See you in the next video. Bye. See you. Ciao. Ciao, ciao.